In this video, I'm going to be rating three games I found on the Steam store, each costing only 99 cents. But before we take a look at the games, how the heck am I going to rate them? Well, I have the answer, and I call it the Quinn's Ratings of Affordable Purchases, or CRAP for short. It's based on a five-star scale. That's all you really need to know. Our first game is Blood and Bacon. Oh. Going into this game, I wasn't really sure what I was expecting. Blood and Bacon is a pretty horrific and gruesome wave shooter that pits a man against swine. After something happens to the pigs on a farm, the impaled farmer tasks you with taking them down. You gotta kill all those creatures out there. I know it seems cruel, but trust me, they need to die. All right, man. Each wave takes place on a day, and every 10 days, you have to fight a mini boss. What? I did it. Before it starts, you are given the chance to gear up and talk to the farmer, but we're only on day two. Expo what does it mean, explore the tunnels? Day two is where things begin to take an eerie turn. After completing the wave, you are given the choice of exploring the tunnels. I don't want to go in there. Once you enter the tunnels, you have to find another way out. This game becomes an unnerving dungeon crawler. Is there something moving? I don't like horror games, guys. Oh. Oh, okay. Give me the fuck out of there, man. Holy crap. That was terrifying. The next few days fly by pretty quickly. The game finishes up the tutorial, and at this point, I'm pretty confident in my swine killing skills. I even explored the scary tunnels once more. But finally, day 10 arrives, and I have no idea what's in store for me. No, I'm okay. I'm the needy, greedy piggy. Holy crap! What? I'm out of ammo. <laughs> no, this is uh, not fair. This is not fair. Come here. No! Of course! Revolver! It's the first mini boss? Overall, Blood and Bacon was a surprisingly good wave shooter. There is one thing I forgot to mention though. This game has multiplayer. What? Here's what you've been waiting for. What the fuck happened? Now, what is going on? What is going on? You have the arms! You have the arms! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, why did I lose my arms? Why did I lose my arms? Blood and Bacon gets a 4 out of 5 on the crap scale. We're starting out strong, people. The next game on the list is Tori 2. I'm not even sure where to begin with this game. Tori 2 is a fast-paced 3D platformer. The concept is simple. You play as Tori, or three other unlockable characters, and your goal is to make it to the end of the level. The fun part? You have to get there as fast as possible. At the end of each level, you're given a rank based on how long it took you to beat it. While there aren't many stages in the game, each one is jam-packed with content. There's stars you can grab, and I even learned a secret collectibles hidden throughout each level. Everything from the design to how your momentum works all flow so well together. It makes it really addictive to essentially speedrun every stage. I truly wanted to go back and replay all of them. This game is easily the one I sunk the most time into. I highly recommend Tori 2. This game gets a 5 out of 5 on the crap scale. 
And before we look at our final game, let's take a gander at some honorable mentions. This leaves us with our final game of the list. Mommy Simulator. I'm, call me mommy, guys. Mommy Simulator challenges you with the task of being a single mother raising two children. I, like many of the other reviewers on Steam, was born a man, so I was eager to take this challenge head on. From simple things like feeding your babies to taking them for a walk, Mommy Simulator is a great way to learn how hard it is to be a mother. Your baby is hungry. Pick up milk, pour it into feeder, and give it to baby. All right. Why won't it open? Hello? Go to kitchen and open freezer. Okay. Okay, sure. Sure, let me... Let me open it. You ever think about that, mommy? Our baby. Can we do it? Let's... Woo! Yes! Today is holiday. Pick up ba your baby's go-to park. All right. Find first boy... Why are you doing this? All right, all right, kid. Let's get in the let's get in the baby cart. All right, we got him in there. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. All right, we got. Come on. Wait, we got it. We got her. These poor, poor kids. Oh, there we go. They spelled balloons wrong. Just when I thought the game couldn't get any better, it did this. Oh snap! What's up? Yo, dude, I need my mommy. I need my mommy. Where my mommy at? This game surprisingly has a second mode in which you play as one of the babies and, uh, you do math? Okay. Nine, nine divided by three. I don't, I don't remember this one. You look at colors? Oh, I actually didn't know that. Wait, what does purple and green make? All right, blue and red. This one's, this one's. What? I, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I'm not sure this mode is made for me. I know what a monkey is. As a game, Mommy Simulator just simply isn't there. However, as an experience, it's worth every single penny. One more, surely one more. It's time to go home. All right. All right, let me start running. <laughs> I can't do this.